Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Happy to have you here. If this is your first time, welcome. I am honored to share Merch Amazon information with you. <laughs> if this is your repeat view, I am uh, thankful you came back. So today, because someone asked this in the comments, it's like, how do you design for Merch Amazon? And if you already have your system locked and loaded, I think you're all good. You probably don't need to watch this. If you're still figuring out how to get a design flow into place, this is probably a good idea. There's a few things to ask. Are you a designer? If you're a designer, you're golden. This is the best platform for you. Now, another question to ask. Do you intend to outsource? The goal of outsourcing is, I, I would say, a couple things. For one, um, you're freeing yourself some time, right? For two, you might be creating high quality designs. Three, you're, putting, you're building a system that actually creates uh, more value for your business. So if you're ever thinking of flipping a Merch by Amazon account, selling it, uh, it, it, it'll have a higher valuation because there's a system in place that someone who's buying the company could just use and so they don't have to create a system from scratch to increase the value of the company. So there's a few reasons. But in all cases, I think it's really important that um, you have some very basic design knowledge getting into this platform because it's at the core of what this platform is. So if you're thinking about getting into this, might as well have some foundation uh, in design, right? And so what would I recommend that you do, right? So there's a few things. For one, I know there's one guy who learned from scratch, GIMP, and now he's he has uh, $10,000 a month just with GIMP and he's designing it all himself, right? Uh, and beyond. So GIMP is a great one, it's also free. Uh, and there's some great tutorials on, on YouTube. And the main goal, I think, was just to be able to put up a design really quickly and not be dependent on a designer who is out of state or out of country. Because if you have an idea or you're trying to catch a trend, you just want to put something out there and you message them, they get back to you like eight hours later and then the process is staggered and you lose momentum. It breaks the whole flow. So I think, I think it's important for your own personal freedom to be able to have some design skills, right? It doesn't have to be a lot. You just watch a couple tutorials and you'll get better. Other thing is Photoshop. You have to pay for it unless you, uh, uh, you download illegal versions. But yeah, let's just say you're paying for it. Uh, and then you also have... Uh, Illustrator and these two things uh, are both you know two of the, the, the giants in the design industry I use Photoshop and then as well I'll show you here very quick Photoshop it's really cool you can very quickly just create the template right there and then just say you want to write I love pizza it's like that quick to kind of create design right so Photoshop is great. Um, Illustrator, I have no idea what people say it's awesome. Uh, this is my current favorite thing to use. <laughs> it's so simple and easy, and it gives you everything you need. It's the Merchant Former design tool. is part of the package of whenever you buy Merchant Former. So just for an example, um, pop sockets are, are you know they're they're doing well now, and one of the big trends, as we've known, you know, if you listen to what Neil Lassen says, the founder of Merch Informer, or Merch Elephant, things like that, if you're in, in the conversation, you know that patterns are selling, right? So, what, so how would we use this with this design tool? So I'll just jump to images, right? Right, pattern, once it loads. It does a little bit of loading for open clip art, but open clip art means it, it's commercially usable uh, images and icons, right? And often they're transparent vectors, I, I would say, 95% are transparent vectors. Um, but the other thing is just keep in mind that even though it is commercially usable, someone else on the platform might be using it as well. And so you'll, you might face like copycat issues. Um, just keep that in mind. All right, let's say, look, all these beautiful designs. Amazing, you can just slap that on a pop socket. All of these you can slap on a pop socket. Let's say, let's say I pick that one. I love it. Looks a bit too trippy. I don't want to mess with any like visual effect ones because I think in the terms of service, you don't want to have like 3D or stuff which they can't recreate. Let's let's take something else. Uh, all right, that was kind of cool. Just go like that. Boom. Okay. Now you download it, and now you have a pop socket design ready to go. It's very cool. So we'll just get that up real quick. Pop socket. And that's happening. So another great thing about this, for example, if we switch product, go to t-shirts, I mean, it's downloading a transparent file in the right format really fast, like unbeatable for me. And it's also good pro tip 
for um, if you're thinking about outsourcing designs, it, it's very easy for, for VAs to use. Um, they don't even have to be like pro graphic designers. So if you're really on a budget and you can't afford even what is already cheap, which is the $4 designs uh, that, that have been popularized lately, you can go even less and just pay per hour and get them to churn out designs on this site if, they're, if they have a creative bent, you know, and they kind of just like to play around in it. So just to show you how I might do this really quick, teacher, right? Uh, you can already add effects. These are distressed effects. So let's just do that. This is how quick you can like get a design out. And if you watch my other video where I talk about how to write a listing and and the design there is of like a ninja, I've just put it together in like 30 seconds with this tool. Then you go to images. I, I, I like to write Apple because it's a teacher teacher thing, right? So there's a lot of gamer, a cool. you can use a lot of cool gamer, you like this gamer loves dinosaurs, stuff like that. But for now, I'm just going to stick with this cute looking apple, right? And what I'm going to do now as well is I'm going to change this because I saw SPED, SPED teacher. And SPED, I found out recently, is special education. Uh, and they have a good, it's a good niche online. So this, right, and I would add a quick, quick distress to make it look cool, download it, bam, you got design. It's very simple, but remember, it's Amazon. People are coming here for novelty items. They're not coming here for beautiful artworks. Uh, and it's hard to hear that for a lot of designers because, of course, and it makes sense, they want to put in as much effort as they can. But considering how much competition there is on Amazon in general, everyone's trying to get their shirt in front of people's eyes. Um, just big, bold, big and bold cells, okay? So... This one looks good, and this one we're going to put up the sped. And it's already, see how easy that is? You're downloading a transparent file in the right format with fonts that you can use that are built into the system with images that you can use because they're drawing with their API, pulling it from open clip art, which is commercially free, or Pixabay. It's great, okay? So now let's just... Just do something like that. Um, I'd like to see. Oh, I like that. So then you just write, because I'm just going to do this now, show you how, how easy the flow is. So cute, <laughs> caps, cute, special education teacher t shirt. Sped class okay, and then here you can just write sped love apparel, and then you pull this down. Uh, a great uh, uh, anything like a, a a gift for teachers to teach special education. I would obviously put more work into this. If you want to see how I write a listing, check out that other video on uh, SEO. But just for the sake of this, let's do patterns and textures for the brand name. In caps, very hip. <laughs> uh, cool black white dot sticks abstract pattern design gift idea. Okay, cool. Got some good keywords in there. I'm still. Uh, that's this is kind of how I do it for pop sockets. <laughs> I just get a lot of descriptive words into the uh, into the title. Usually, I fill out the bullets, but for the sake of this video, I'll just proceed. That looks good, right? It's pretty basic design. It's not amazing, of course. Anyone can make a much better design, but the principle of this is the speed and the ease of all of a sudden now. Once I submit it, in less than an hour, I've just added two products for sale on Amazon that weren't there before. You've increased the options for the consumer, and you've increased your chances of making a sale if you do, you know, you know, good designs, good niche research, um, good keywords, benefiting from organic traffic, of course. If you have a brand, even better. If you look at the top selling shirts, you'll always see like brand partners, YouTube channels, because that's it makes sense. They have huge followings; they're driving so much traffic every day. All right, so hopefully this is useful to you, and you can see the benefit behind having a good design workflow just to, to make it easy to do this every day because it's about consistency, right? Pumping out designs every day. I'm trying to hit at least 50, 100 uploads a day just consistently. I could do more, but it's nice to be, to be steady. So, all right, so let's keep this. 
at 10 minutes. Thank you so much for watching. Do all this stuff if you want. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good times. And let me know if you have any more questions around Merch Bamazon. I would love to you know, help answer it. All right, thanks so much for watching. Peace.